اينشتاين بيقول التعليم مفهوش ملل حب نفسك مكاني هتفقد الامل ملينا المدرسه ونظام صب وفب شرح طول الوقت عمل لنا دروب يا استاذ عقلي مش سبونج بوب يشرب المعلومه وبعديها يكب هنا في نو سكول طلعنا من الدروب لعب مرح تفاعلات هتعجبك يا بوب نو سكول اكاديمي سيمبلي ليرن ديفرنت Hello dear students. Welcome again. This is Ms. Amal Gamal presenting a new lesson for today. Today we are going to go through chapter 2 all the way to chapter 3 about communication. We're going to talk about feelings, the weather, counting and transportation and what floats and what sinks. What does that mean? We're going to find out. But first we need to watch this QR code and we are going to learn. I need you to think about something that makes you happy. Okay, this image shows me that I, when I think of something that makes me happy, I'm happy when I'm at a birthday party. So I'm really happy with my friends and we're celebrating a friend's birthday, even my birthday. I'm really happy in that day. So it's a celebration that makes me happy. And something else that makes me sad. This is the opposite of happy is sad. If I have a toy and it got broken, it cost it. So, how do I feel? I'm gonna feel so sad. Maybe even I would cry because my toy is broken. Oh, this is another feeling. This is angry. Someone makes you really angry and you fight with them. But you have to stay calm. Don't get angry. لا تغضب. And this is another QR code that we need to scan and we are going to practice the live worksheet. Okay, we have two pictures here. We have a cloudy or a little bit a dark picture and it looks like rain and the other picture it looks like summer or spring the sun is shining people are having fun at the park so we are going to discuss about each picture okay in details this is a town for example in the street it looks it's not sunny so it must be cloudy and it looks like there's rain so this is we're talking about the weather the weather in that day in this picture it shows it's a cloudy and a rainy day do you think is it summer or spring or winter or fall i guess it's winter and this is another picture completely the opposite thing it's sunny the people are having fun they are out on a picnic and it's impossible to have this kind of weather at winter. So it must be either spring or summer. The sun is shining, people are having fun at the park. Okay, we have another thing to scan, but this time it's a song, so please scan and enjoy. Okay, talking about the weather, it might be rainy or hot or cloudy or it is sunny or windy or it's cold. All this, we're talking about the weather. So if you need to make a weather report, what things are you going to use? And what do you think you will need in this day? What to wear? For example, if I have a rainy day, I would really need the coat that you can see. It's a raincoat or an umbrella. I don't have an umbrella here, but you will need an umbrella. What if the weather was hot? You're gonna need your sunshades or sunglasses and your sandals, something really light in your feet. And what if the weather is cloudy? Mm, doesn't really matter what you wear as long as the temperature is proper. And if it's sunny, it's gonna be hot. So the same thing you're gonna wear at the hot weather. You're gonna need the sunshades and the sandals. And what if the weather is windy? Windy, it means that it's going to be cold. So windy and cold, they match together. We can wear something to keep us warm. Uh, the gloves, uh, the scarf, an ice cap, and the, the, the jacket will be enough. I need you to circle what you will use to make your own weather report. You have the word rainy and hot for the thermometer. And we have cloudy and sunny and windy and cold. What are you going to use for your weather report? And what is related to this weather? What kind of clothes that you need to put on for this weather? If it's sunny or rainy, to put on something proper. If it is sunny, I can play outside. 
But if it's windy and rainy, for example, Mm, I'll put on a jacket if I want to go out. It's not really a good weather to play outside. Okay, we have another QR code that we need to scan and you are going to practice the live worksheet. Okay, we are talking about shapes here. Mm. I need you to have a good look at this picture and recognize what shapes can you see. There are circles hidden inside and squares, rectangle maybe and a triangle. So I want you to have a good look and try to recognize all the shapes in this picture. Okay, we have created a picture with uh, the shapes that we know. We know the circle, we know the triangle, square, rectangle, all these I know already. So if I needed to make a picture using these shapes, for example, this is the easiest thing I could think of. It's the most simple thing that you can do using the shapes or maybe even a car, but this is, I like this one better. So I use the big triangle for the roof and the house, it looks like a square and we have two windows in a square shape and the door is a rectangle. There you go. I have a painting using shapes and, and I need you to observe this picture very carefully and look at the details. What can you see? I want you to brainstorm yourself. Mm, it looks what? It gives you a feeling of there are circles, okay, and the weather is cloudy, windy, and what kind of season is that? Is it summer, winter? I want you to think, think. This is all yours. Think whatever you like. Okay, we have a picture of a farm and we have some things that is nature, made by nature, and some things are man-made. What do we mean by the word man-made? That a human being made it. It's not there like the trees or the grass. Someone really made it, okay? So looking at this picture, I can see a house, uh, a fence, some chickens, a pond, and a tree, more animals. So I'm going to put X on the things that is man-made, made by a human being. This is another picture, but there's a half missing. It's not full picture. So I need you to recognize what picture is that? Where do you think it is? And how are you going to complete it? So think, where do you think this is? It must be inside a house, somebody's room or living, I don't know. So think about it. And you need to finish the picture. You have an empty space here that you need to finish the picture by yourself. Imagine how will it look like and create some characters even. Okay, we need to make a story about this picture. We have a picture inside a home and this we have a man here and he's like talking to us and he's presenting himself or the house or this is that and this is this. So we need to create a story and characters. Is this man, for example, living by himself? Is he living alone? Maybe he has a family. Maybe he has a wife, a daughter, and a son, and they will come later. So I need you to think about it, okay? Tell me what you think. We need to add some details and color this decoration. This decoration reminds you of what? Ramadan, yes, this is my first idea. Okay, so this is a decoration, especially for Ramadan. Okay, now we are going to talk about a message across the Nile. Message across the Nile. What is that? Okay, we have some transportation. So, go through this, we're going to go through the message across the Nile. So, having transportation. Transportation. Mm, what is that? Transportation means something that I put myself inside and it moves me from one point to the other. Like from the beginning of the street till the end of the street, from one town to the other, from one country to the other. Wow, that far? Yes, it depends on the this mean of transportation. For example, we have a car, a plane, a boat, a bus, a bike, walking on your foot. Walking on your foot makes you move from one point to the other, okay? And a helicopter, all this? Yes, all this. So. We need to think where this mean of transportation can take me to. How far will it take me? And 
How will it move? Will it move by air, by land, by water? Okay, I need to sort them out. I cannot take a plane to sail in the sea or drive a bus in water or uh, take my car to fly. It doesn't make any sense. So you have to sort them out. Okay, let's start with land. We have a car and a train, they move on land. And on water, we have big ship or felucca or a little boat. And by air, we have this airplane or jet and a helicopter. Are we done? No, not yet. Ooh, walking on your foot. This is what? A mean of transportation on land, yes. And biking, okay, if you have a bicycle, you can have your bicycle and go for a ride on land, not on water, not in the air. And if we have another boat, another shape of a boat, the same thing, it moves, it travels by sea, by water. And we are done, we, have anything, we don't have anything else for air. And we have the bus, this is the last one. And we need to scan this QR code to be able to practice the live worksheet. Good luck. Okay, now we need to count. Just count. How many trucks can you see? One, two, three, and what? Two more. Okay, so I'm doing addition. I'm adding the trucks together. Okay, what about the next thing? I have some ships and um, sh more ships. And we have another picture. Oh, this is different. We are canceling some. And the bikes are the same thing. So finding the answer for everything. Okay, we have three trucks plus. So I'm adding more trucks, two more. So three plus two equals five. And I have ships. I have seven ships in the first picture. And the second picture, there are only three, but I'm putting them all together. So seven and three is 10. This time it's different. We have eight airplanes, eight, and I canceled, did you see that? I canceled two of them. Hmm, I canceled. So something is not there anymore. So when I start to count again, so this is eight minus two by canceling equals six. What about the bikes? I have four bikes to begin with, but something happened. I canceled three of them. So I started with four and I canceled three, one, two, three. So how many left? How many bicycles left? Just one. Another QR code, this. You are going to watch this and have fun. Okay, now we are going to talk about sink or float. So we're talking about the surface of water, if you have water, and I'm testing, doing an experiment. I'm going to see if this thing is going to sink into the water or is it going to float on the surface? For example, I have a paper pen and a puffed ball, that, the kind of ball that you play at the beach. It is filled with air, so it's very light. So we're talking about weight. If something is heavy or the material itself makes it sink, it will sink. And if it's light, it will float, it will float. So what will sink here? I believe that the paper pen will sink. If I test it in a glass of water, it will sink. And the beach ball, it will float, it will float. It will stay on the surface of the water. You can do this experiment by yourself. It's really easy. Instead of the beach ball, you can replace it with a balloon. It's the same idea. It's rubber and it's filled with air inside. So you can do this. I need you to scan this QR code and practice the live worksheet. Have fun. Okay, we have to trace the letters under each picture. We're talking about what? This is a raft. It's floating, but it's not a boat or a ship. Something very simple that floats on the surface of the water. We call it raft. So what you need to do is trace the letters for this word, okay? 
Another word that we need to trace, cargo ship. Cargo ship. It's a ship, not just for passengers, no, just for cargo. Things that they move from one town or one country to the other to be able to sell it to people. So this is a cargo ship. Trace the word cargo ship. Another word, yes, we have fluka. Fluka is a kind of a boat, it's a sailboat. It's very simple, very popular in Egypt, and we need to trace the word for fluka. Go ahead and try. Another QR code, yes, but this time I'm going to enjoy myself. Okay, I need you to draw two different shaped boats. Two different shaped boats. Shapes, okay, I can do that using shapes. You want to try? Go ahead. You can have like a rectangle. The sail is like a triangle. And you can have some accessories on the boat using the circles or squares, for example. So you can do two shapes in this. Be creative, do whatever you want. I need you to draw the other half of the tool. We have a pigeon, a drum, I think, and Three more pictures, a laptop and a cell phone. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna try to draw the other half of the picture. Okay, we have some tools here. We have, um, what do you call this? Colors, sticks, glue, and things that you have to make, to think of an idea by yourself, how to make a boat, making a boat. Be creative and try to give these things and try to make something with it. Okay, now I need you to draw what you made. So I want you to draw your boat. I need you to draw a picture to show an important idea for others designing a boat. Other designing a boat. So you made two boats from to begin with, then you made one yourself, then you drew what you made. So these are other ideas for other people, okay? So try to draw something different that you made. Our project is about having an idea getting the materials, plan how to make the boat, and at the end, we were going to build it. So this is your project. Follow the steps for making a boat. First, you're gonna have the idea, get the materials, make a plan, how to make a boat, and at the end, you are going to build the boat already. So at the end, you are going to draw everything and you're gonna paint it and make, fix it and make it amazing and take a picture of it or draw it, okay? Remember what we have learned today. We have learned about transportation, any means of transportation, by air, by water, and by land. For example, the most famous by, by air is the airplane, um, by water, ships or boats or fluka, and by land, there's a lot of things. We have bus, car, train, on foot, bicycle, motorcycle, all this by land. And we learned about what things sink and what floats on the surface of the water, and we learned about feelings, what makes me happy, and what makes me sad, and what makes me angry. And we talked about the weather. If it's a sunny day or a rainy day, windy day, if it's hot, if it's cold, all this is the weather. So for next time, please remember to bring your magazine, scissors, glue, and your sketch. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.